to everybody. I'm just going to do a quick energy reading to see what's going on today. Oh, I just saw the Seven of Swords. So it's like being, I just heard blindsided. So possibly there's something being denied or overlooked and it's going to come out. Let me see. Oh, shit. You saw that? Okay. So there's some confusion. There's a lot of paths opening up here. There's something, look at this. See this kitty cat up here? His head is like, it's it's like he's looking at something. Very curious. Um, I also feel uh, there's businesses beginning. I just heard prosperity is, a, is upon us. Let me see. As I say that, here's here's the card of abundance, right? So so that's you looking good, feeling good, knowing that you have all these options. Okay, I feel like there's this is also signifying like a lot of change under like you're undergoing a lot of change, or there's just change going on around you in your environment. Like possibly some of you are um, moving. Some of you are trying to pick a vacation spot, expanding gifts, like spiritual gifts for some of you. Yeah, and there's also just like a transformation happening from the inside out. Ooh. This is happening because of some sort of ending. Yeah, look, and here's the world. I'm hearing the ultimate betrayal. So somebody, somebody's been extremely backstabbed here. Okay. Maybe you're emerging. Okay. Because well, this is going on beneath the surface. Like, is this ending? Betrayal. It's the end of some sort of confusion that's been happening in your life. Somebody's life. Yeah. There's two sevens here. Look, here's the tower. See, I... I feel like something's about to come out. Like, um, you see how the light, they just drew my attention to the light on these two coins down here. So it's like, everything isn't revealed yet. I feel like there's something that you don't know or that somebody's feeling hidden or hiding from you. Feel this is also you dreaming of like all these different having all these different ideas as well. I'm just gonna say someone because there's energies like it's not just one energy I'm getting here, like there's energies around the main energy here. All right, let me see recent past. With Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is family. But see, here's this Three of Cups. And I'm sorry, but I do not like this Three of Cups, okay? I feel like somebody ended some sort of family situation here, and now they're single, and they're, um, yeah, there's some sort of commitment. There was something that you felt obligated to that somebody ended here. Or, or it's like whatever you saw as your long term is changing. Like it's like maybe you felt stuck to this one outcome, okay, of this long term, like this way. And it's like now you're aware that you're like free to pick whatever you want. 
Okay, and this is like a lesson learned like after like Yeah, I'm hearing it's always darkest before the dawn. So it's like there was some sort of ending here for sure. But now it's like you're no longer looking at it as a loss. You're looking at it as like endless possibilities. All right. But I do feel like you may not be clear completely on this yet. Like you still might be in like a hazy point. Okay. Because like I said, they, they drew my awareness to these two pentacles down here. So I feel like you're still um, working on finding your balance or just coming into balance because I feel like this is the main energy here. And, and she, yeah, I just heard satisfied. Like this person is very satisfied. Like you have money in the bank. You're feeling stable and secure and confident. All right, what's coming towards this energy in the next few days here. Dang, here's the seven of swords. So that's three sevens. What's at the bottom? Okay, healing. And look at this seven of swords. Like, look at this guy. He's like a ultimate shady character, right? It's like he's holding on to one sword. He's left two back here. He's there's got three in the bag. Where's the seventh sword? Oh, there is four laying down there. And then I don't know. I kind of feel like something's going to come out that could be um, I don't know. It feels very it does not feel nice. I don't I don't like it at all. Okay, so it's telling you to go within and hear some justice. So justice is going to be served on this situation here. We're going to get some clarifiers. What's coming? How's the viewer being seen or what? Yeah, okay. So there could be just some people around you that aren't really digging whatever it is that you're doing. They aren't like digging with the fact that you're feeling like this and having all this opportunity opening up to you. Because somebody definitely left a situation here where possibly in the past you felt really obligated to. You you put a lot of work and effort into it, okay? It it Someone's also planning on coming towards you. But I'm gonna see. Let me see. I want to see what the seven of swords is, but first let me get the rest. Yeah, see, look, here's the hair font. Again, I'm I'm getting like an obligation. Yeah, see, somebody's feeling like left out of a of a commitment. Okay. This is what I'm saying. It's like somebody's leaving some sort of um, it could have been a family situation. It's just like, I, this just feels like obligation. Like you were in it for the long haul, but it's like, it wasn't what you thought it was. That's what it feels like. Okay. You're seeing, it's like somebody's no longer denying the fact that they have endless possibilities. Like they're seeing themselves as who and what they are and what they have to offer. Let me see. Okay. Look at this guy. Okay, so this is the Page of Wands. This is a new beginning, a fresh start. Um, but he looks like gossip, right? Because I feel like this is kind of attached to the Seven of Swords. I feel like, because you see how this guy has this hand on his truth? It's like this person's going to come out and say something, wants to come and say something. Somebody might be trying to start some shit or something like that. And uh, because there's four swords down here, you're probably going to have to recover from it, whatever they say, okay? 
And it's almost like this person can't wait to tell you it's gossip. Okay. So you're not hearing it from the source, but whatever they're saying, there is some truth to it. You could find out that somebody's pregnant. Like they're going to tell you that somebody's pregnant. Somebody's having a baby. Somebody's getting married. Um, something like that. And then look, here's this Prince of Cups, the Knight of Cups. Let's let I, I need to get some clarifiers here because this kind of got juicy. I feel like um, somebody's like really sticking out in the crowd. I feel like somebody else comes and tells, like it's it's trying. It's like I feel like this energy of somebody trying to rain on somebody else's parade here. Okay, because somebody's like feeling good and looking good. And it's like, they just come to let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to find out. Tell me about the seven of swords. Yeah. Six of six of wands. And here's this 10 of cups. See the six of wands can be See, I feel like somebody's jealous that somebody's getting a lot of attention here, okay? And looking happy, all right? Because that's what this Ten of Cups is, is about emotional fulfillment, okay? And it's like somebody comes in and says some bull crap trying to rain on this person's parade. Let me see. Tell me, who is this Empress? Because, I don't know, I'm not getting... Okay. See, I'm not getting a very nice vibe from this Empress over here. Um, and plus this Empress is pregnant. So it could be this Empress that comes and tells you that she's pregnant with like your baby or your man's baby or something like that. Okay, and look, the hair upon again. But I also feel like Somebody's making a decision about where they're moving forward in life, okay? Tell me about this high priest. Something. Yeah, see, look, the moon's down here, okay? There's definitely something going on. Yeah, I'm hearing that song. I know there's something going on. Yeah, there's, this definitely feels like a secret, all right? Something is really being hidden here, but somebody's about to, to put it out, like put it out on front street, what the hell, in hopes to rain on somebody else's parade here. What the fuck? I don't like doing readings like this, but this is the energy that's coming through, okay? This is somebody you haven't heard from in a while like a Taurus could be a Taurus yeah see somebody from your past yeah see it, look again could be a Virgo what is this seven of Pentacles Verify the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so things are about to speed up, all right? I feel like whatever you find, yeah, and here's this Ace of Wands. Whatever you find out, it's like, I feel it has the reverse effect on whatever this person wants to do. Like, they're trying to, I feel like, hurt you with this information, rain on your parade with this information, but it's like, it's like somebody knows, somebody else, whoever's receiving this inf information, like, they don't even, like, it, they're like, can't touch this. Like, this doesn't even, like, but it does feel like the ultimate betrayal here, okay? Because I told you, I heard that, the ultimate betrayal. Like, somebody is being completely stabbed in the back. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like whoever it is that this person is coming and telling, like, they're, somebody's coming to to like sabotage something, you know, like, I feel like this person has been like plotting and planning a way. 
Ugh, it feels really nasty, guys. I'm really sorry. But but what what this person doesn't know is that it just completely backfires on them. It only speeds up what they are trying to block. And it's like they can't wait to tell you because they just want to watch you like break. Oh my God, this is, look. I told you, you can't touch this. What they don't know is that it's like all they do is push like this abundance closer to you. Like you, you literally have nothing to fear. Whoever this is for, I don't, I don't know. Like this, this is a crazy reading. Okay. I feel like exactly what they're trying to prevent all the, all they do is it, it, it comes, it, it wreaks havoc on their life. And yeah, I just keep hearing, you can't touch this. Like you just can't touch this. What is this 10 of swords? Yeah. See. And we have a lot of sevens. You could be seeing a lot of sevens. Yeah, see, um, this is, this is, see, see how all these people are coming to, I feel like there is, there are some people that are not enjoying the fact that you're happy and sticking out in the crowd. And they just, I feel like somebody's really being talked shit about and <sighs> but don't worry. Like you, yeah, look, see, look at this. And then what comes next is this rise above. Okay. Like you, you are not even bothered. Okay. You stay open for love. I feel like this is like somebody just like, it's no matter what you've been through, the confusion, the backstabbing. Okay. It's like, you continue to work on yourself. You continue to move forward, but there are still forces trying to come at you. Okay. Don't, don't back down. You are so protected. I, I just want you to know that you are so protected. You see this? It's like you were protected. You might feel tired. Okay. And exhausted from whatever this is, because this is, this has been a lot like, um, it's been a long haul. Okay. I definitely feel like for some of you, this is a message about uh, your connection with your counterpart. Okay. There have been a lot. There has been a lot. I mean, I'm talking a lot of freaking interference. It's coming to an end. Okay. But I feel like somebody's going to have one more last attempt. And look, look at this. As I'm saying that, look at what's here on the top of this deck. All right, let's see. Give me one card here for this for this message here. Wow. Work. Okay, so some of you, this is like a situation at work. It's like somebody's seeing you um, stick out, seeing like opportunities just opening up for you and just like they are hating on you. Like I'm not even... I, I feel bad. Like you can feel it. I, I know, you know, that this is happening. This is not something that you don't know is happening for you. But the thing is, is whatever this last attempt is like that they're doing to bring you down. It's like, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen because you are so divinely protected. And plus like you're on this like level where these people, like they can't even touch you with whatever they're coming with. Okay. also there's yeah look at this true love I told you there's like something about love here too and I feel like it's sparked by um some form of jealousy because whomever you may be attracted to or whoever's attracted to you it's like um and it could be this person's um for some of you the person that is against you is is your mother <laughs> okay and others of you it's like um this is like a baby mama
Yeah. And so, um, and here's this. And what did we have at the bottom of the deck? Look, true love. True love. Okay. Somebody could be getting a promotion, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. So you could get this promotion and it's like this person, I don't know, I feel like there's people watching you too, admiring what you do for work and other people are around you seeing this happen as well. And they're just like really jealous. Don't even sweat it. You're not. You're not. I don't even know that you're aware, but I feel like there's like whatever this person is trying to do here, because I'm telling you, somebody's trying to come out with something to to bring you down, but but you're not even look. Rejuvenating ring, clear the past and heal the present. Yeah, I'm hearing to finally learn to let it go. Look, begin now. Take your first step. Because somebody's leaving some sort of, you could be leaving your job. You could be leaving your job because there's just so much drama attached to it. There's so much backstabbing and just like bullshit attached to it. And you know, like you could be, you know, like um, you could do fine, like on your own, you could start your own business. But there's, this is all, there's also something connected here with, with work. So I don't know if you work with someone who like liked you and then like, you're liking someone else and they know this and they're like mystic healer healing energy flows through you. Yeah. All these cups too, the cups and this could be like your psychic energy opening up, like strengthening your psychic abilities, strengthening. And this could also be some sort of spiritual practice as well. Okay. The more that you're loving on yourself, it's just like growing and you're growing abundance growing money. It's opening up all these opportunities. It feels like, it honestly feels like a lot of opportunity opening up for you, especially within your finances. Okay. But there, there's love coming in for you too. And I feel like, um, you've gained a lot of wisdom. Like, like you've, you've learned a lot of lessons from what, from a lot of these betrayals. Yeah, you're finally learning to let it go. That I just keep hearing you I finally learned to let it go. What what's the shadow days? Definitely an ending of a cycle here. Okay, this is also about somebody um stepping into their empress energy, like totally claiming it. And this is after a period of, you know, maybe you've been in hermit mode for a long time and just recovering from heartache. Okay, you've been doing a lot of praying to mother Mary so that you can move forward. Okay. Um, yeah. See answering the call. The time is now I want to get, I want to know what is this page of wands? Clarify the page of wands. I just feel like whatever you're doing, everybody's noticing everybody page of wands. This is a, this is a, partnership. Okay. This is the beginning of a partnership. Somebody's stressed up, stressed up about it. Probably because of all the other drama attached to it. I don't, I don't know what the drama is, but clarify the, the two of cups. Yeah. See somebody, I feel like somebody had to end one family relationship or that you left your job but it's like you're going to join forces with somebody else and um, it's it's moving past this healing stage, this, you know, this morning of what's been left behind. OK, but you are going to turn around and see what you have like right in front of you. I mean, this is a serious soulmate connection here, and it's these two. Okay, you could be reconciling with someone from your past. See, if this is somebody that you've known for a long time. This is divinely, divinely guided, divinely con connected. Okay, the time is now. He, that's um, 
Melchizedek, Mel, Mel, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but the time is now. She's calling him like, come on, are you ready? Like, let's go. And here they are. You, you may be a little bit guarded of each other. You see how they're not looking at each other, but they're both holding their cups and, you know, he's holding her in his arms. So it's like you both want to be there. There is a level of trust between the two of you. The love is felt by both of you. But they just said something about it. It's, it's unspoken. So you've never really, you haven't yet spoken it out loud. All right, let me see. This is turned into love. Let's see. One more card here. You deserve love. And I feel like you're finally waking up to this after a whole lot of bullshit. Like somebody has really gone through a lot of bullshit. And there might be one person that's like not done with it yet. Look, honeymoon. See, someone's coming towards you. But there might be like a little bit more to come out. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. See, I don't know who this is, but they're they're watching you. It could be watching you work, okay? You know, look, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. You could have met this person at work. All right, guys. There you go. I love you. Have a great day.